Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. As we left off last time, we were preparing ourselves for the assault on Sector D13, uh, the southernmost sector here in Drassen. Uh, we've got our well-rested squad now. It's a little after 3 a.m. We're going to go ahead and move out. They'll arrive, you know, uh, about 440 or so, uh, which should be a pretty decent time to attack. It'll be uh, like... Two hours before dawn, uh, two and a half hours before dawn. Somebody left me a very helpful comment about the exact time that daylight starts cracking uh, at about 6.50 a.m. So uh, that should be totally fine. And we only see that we've got uh, two units Get to fight ready. here. They're here. But as soon as we arrive in this sector, we're going to also see this sector has uh, quite a few more. So the 11 are going to be counting the reinforcements. Most of the units are then going to be coming in from the uh, northern edge of the sector. We're going to let you go to sector. Uh, everybody's action points were, or uh, energy points rather, um, above 80. A couple characters I think were in the 90s, so that's pretty decent. Now, we are quite limited to where we can actually enter this sector. Uh, the terrain here prevents coming in anywhere along this cliffside. So we're going to end up down in the bottom here. And uh, out of sheer laziness, I'm just going to group everybody instead of trying to place them individually. Go ahead and pop into the sector, and then right away. Standing by. What's up? You called? You got my ear. Standing by. I want to have him drop his path. There we go. All right. Now, standing by. The enemies aren't like alerted to our presence uh, as soon as we enter or anything like that. Um, the game doesn't try. We have to some cheat. inconveniences to dispose of. In that respect, but uh, that was actually pretty quick. What's so, up? we should just have a couple of guys in here right now. Um, Standing by. He's well within range. One of the other prime reasons to be coming in to fight these guys at night being that uh, we've mostly got very short range weapons. And the nighttime battles are going to ensure that the fights take place uh, a lot closer. We don't yet have any sort of, you know, night vision goggles or anything like that. Uh, later on, those are going to become a staple of our equipment loadouts, though, as uh, they are very, very useful. Unfortunately, I really wish that shot had not missed because it would have allowed me... Oh my god, that shot missed as well. What's up? Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and push Bull out just a little bit. Uh, dispersion is important in this game. The enemy does uh, have access to explosives. And you got my ear. just like in real life, dispersion is important because a single grenade is uh, something you don't want taking on, or uh, taking out rather, your entire squad. And move her up two spaces, which will get her just in range. Uh, if anyone is curious, the, uh, the hotkey that I'm using there is. Uh, F, uh, as you hover over somebody and press F, it will give you that additional detail. Standing by. Oh man, I'm using up so much of my squad's action points dealing with this one guy. That is awful. Well, hopefully we get at least one turn. Dude, if somebody doesn't shoot this guy, like seriously, like just, there we go. Hey. That's looking good. All right. Hopefully we get at least a turn before uh, anything call? else crops up so that uh, we will have full opportunity to regain our own action points. Now, uh, I'm probably going to want to turn on the option for accelerated AI turns uh, just so that we don't have to spend too much time watching red bars when we have like no visibility of what uh, anything is doing around us but they've uh, definitely heard the gunfire that, that can be assured uh, we don't have any fancy silenced weapons or anything like that so the enemies throughout the sector are going to start making their way over here and usually the AI's reaction you know which makes sense uh, to gunfire is basically to just sprint in the direction of the fire so um, even the guys that are at like the top border of the map right now um, probably would be here in two to three turns of just running. Uh, of course, they'll show up 
a little bit low on action points, hopefully, uh, unless one of their turns started just outside of the area that we're in. We also have a slight advantage from our placement because there's some uh, light being given off by these buildings. Presumably they have like a, a little light in front of them. You got my which ear! Which can be very good for us. Standing it by. should mean that I can push somebody up to, say, right about here. And then he doesn't quite have enough to Standing kneel. By. But, okay. hopefully for next turn. Grizzly up to like right about there. He'll take a knee. And then... Oh, What's up? Bull the same way. And we're going to use the fact that there are lights on the street as uh, an advantage for us. You called? And then we'll get Fox like over in this direction, kind of covering the flank. I'm going to leave Ira back. She's pretty terrible with a pretty terrible weapon right now. And if anybody gets hit, I'm going to want her you got my ear. to be able to kind of run up and uh, be able to uh, get some medical attention to them. We'll kind of center her in the middle of oh, cool. our little uh, fan out that we're doing here. And then we'll wait for our opponent's turns again. The uh, action should pick up quite a bit. And, of course, praying for excitement seems like a terrible idea in a game like this. But uh, the game's uh, combat has a tendency to spike uh, in difficulty and action much like real life uh, I would have greatly preferred the boring days over any of the exciting days I ever had in a combat zone and part of what makes it so difficult is you never knew which of the two you were gonna see when you woke up that morning like this poor fella he has probably stood guard outside of this mine for days and days weeks months years who knows and then randomly one day, something. some rebels hire some mercenaries, and he just gets shot in the back. Whoa. I'm actually quite surprised that nobody managed to interrupt him. That's lame. But oh well. Hopefully he's the only one who snuck through. Oh, you got my I guess ear. we didn't really have the, uh, the action points remaining for the interrupt. Maybe that does make sense. Oh, and his shotgun wasn't even cocked. Bull, what are you doing to me, man? You gotta be more prepared. Well, uh, that's no good. And it whizzed off into the distance. Okay. Standing by. How about you? Alright, Grizzly can take easily two aim shots at this guy. <clears throat> lovely. If I could do that one more time. Also lovely. <sighs> that is gonna take cool. care of him. All right, standing by. Go ahead and complete the rest of this little jog, and then we'll have myself take a knee as well. And then we're just going to pass another turn. So being on the defensive is uh, really what you want to do in situations like this. In this sort of a nighttime um, sort of surprise assault where. You're going to be relying on the cover of darkness. Uh, it's a lot better to have enemy units wandering into you with full AP than it is to uh, to try to run into them, uh, as you'll generally be about halfway through your turn and uh, just need to pull back a little bit. Fighting time! Yeah, just like that. Oh. oh, come on now. Unfortunately, we could really use like one turn to just get ahead of it all. Um, where we got full AP and we were able to set ambushes properly. As it's standing right now, like, Bull's at negative 40 action points. So he's going to start this turn maybe able to take an action. Uh, we cocked at the last standing round. Standing by. No, nope, not even close. Standing uh, Unfortunately, by. that drained a little bit too much. You got him. my ear. I do want to go ahead. Let's get Ira up right behind him. Uh, and... Go ahead and prep for a little bit of first aid. She does have a medical bag, and we're going to get a prompt here. It's going to ask if we want to perform surgery on Bull before bandaging him up, and that it can heal about four health. 
most of the time I'd probably want to do these sorts of things, but right now health supplies are like so limited. We basically just have these two med kits and once they're out, they're out. Like we don't have another way to get more at the moment. Standing I don't want to end up in a situation I have found myself in countless other starts of this game, which is really early on, you've got a character that is injured and bleeding out and you have no means of patching him back up and he just dies from like the most minor of wounds. All right, unfortunately, Grizzly could not get it done Standing that time. Standing by. Let's see, it would take him like 30 to move to here. So if instead we run, it's like 22. Target in sight. Save me ooh, a little bit. There's another guy right behind him. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna full auto this guy. And this should get enough rounds in their general area to miss entirely. Well, at least it scared both of them. Scaring people you call? is totally what we're here for. Okay, a little bit problematic. We'll get Fox up to here, have her kneel down. She does have visibility on one of them. She is in poor condition, so if we could just land one shot. Also, that bullet phased through that guy. We could just get one shot to land. One shot to land. No, no, no shots to land. All right. Bull, you got to weather the storm here, man. All right, good. I'd almost rather them decide to uh, to start shooting at other people. Um, just because the concentrated yeah. fire in Bull's direction is the most deadly option. Um, the other guy is probably going to shoot at him, uh, especially because he's in the prone. Like, you'd have to at least go up to a knee probably to swivel uh turning while you're laying prone without standing consumes a ton of action points as you might imagine it would in real life and so uh they usually will do so is he pinned down i would love for him to be pinned down oh maybe he's not going to be able to act at all that is awesome Shh. noise oh that's less awesome i have an encounter Okay, so they've been joined by a third you guy come? who decided that shooting Ira would be a wonderful plan. All right. Standing by. Well, I think that uh, Coyote and his fully automatic weapon. Oh, that was actually a misclick. <sighs> a misclick that uh, totally worked out, but a misclick nonetheless. All right, we're going to go fully automatic weapon. Oh, my God. And we're going to whiff it. Um... That's not great, but the suppression may be worth doing it right Standing now. Standing by. Uh, did like everyone you lose visibility? Only she can see someone. A little bit silly, right? Like we know they're there uh, somehow. Them shifting positions puts them just out of our sight. Oh, come on! Right over his head. I'm also kind of wondering if it's worth reloading bull. Uh, so right now he's using a slug. He probably doesn't have that many shots left, though. Uh, like, buckshot into this kind of formation like might be enough to kill these guys with a single shot. Um, I'll hold off on doing it just for the amount of time it would take. Ugh. Right over him again. And then we're going to have to inch Grizzly up by. as well as he no longer has any sight lines on these guys. Probably do two shots. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Cool. All right. I'm just going to leave him there for now. You and got then my ear. Ira back here. We'll allow her to bandage herself up. All right. And this should do it for this turn. Two guys out here. Uh. Okay. Uh, that little circle-y thing that happened there, uh, basically, as soon as he took the shot, everybody realized where he was again. Like, we had 
the way the perception in the game works, I mean, I'm not saying it's unrealistic. Like, it, it tries to mirror a system where even if you were looking right at somebody and you didn't realize it was a person, you know, like if they were camouflaged, for example, you might not notice them. But as soon as, like, it's pointed out to you, like, they take a shot at you, for example, uh, it becomes you got my ear. immediately noticeable that that's where they are. And once you have that's spotted up. them, you kind of don't lose sight of them again. Uh, so that's sort of what happens there. It's like as soon as he fired the bullet, we Standing knew where by. he was. Uh, fortunately, everybody's kind of going to have to inch up just a little bit. Waste a fair amount of uh, action points. I usually, I like, and I think this is right, I usually prefer to take, like, if I'm already crouched and I need to move up <sighs> one square, uh, I think it's a cost savings to not bother trying to stand up. Standing by. Yeah, like it's it's twelve. There's no way you could uh, gain by the standing and crouching action. Uh, it's just unfortunate that we're losing all of the advantages we were having from having our weapons already readied. Okay. Standing by. Grizzly can still see this guy, so he's just gonna have to take the shot. And that looked really good. Gun okay. needs loading. Oh, and that emptied the clip. That actually works out pretty well. Of course, he has five rounds. I uh, I think I mentioned when I first recruited him that ammunition was going to be a problem for that 357, and I was not wrong. All right, two of those guys are bleeding out, so not a big deal. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five down. Oh. Uh, my my memory has failed me. Was it... We've got 11 guys total, right? That seems right. But wasn't it like... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11? 11? We'll go with 11. 11 seems Hostiles. safe. I'll assume that there are 11 units. Uh, so we're a little less than half done with these guys. And their next friend has decided to show himself. Unfortunately... Standing by. That kind of tells us he can see us, but we can't see him. Uh, he became visible for an instant Standing due by. to the muzzle flash, but then disappeared again. That's actually quite What's troubling. Up? Basically means the only way we'd be able to shoot you at called? him would be uh, if we get an interrupt. And What's up? I can't really say I'm going to count on those. Standing by. Yeah, unfortunately. There we go. Kind of wasting action points by having these guys skirt up, but I don't like the idea of standing up in the middle of all this. I think for obvious reasons, anyway. Um, standing by. That's a good shot. The 357 does a very decent amount of damage. If that could, no, not not even close. If that could have connected. I think we could have finished him off there. You called. Uh, so Fox has still got plenty of AP. If we inch her up one, two more. There we go. 32, should be able to just get off one. And that's looking good. <sighs> awesome. Okay. But I'm also thinking I want to bring Fox back one spot. She doesn't have enough to turn around. Too bad. Okay. Uh, she was getting a little bit far ahead of everybody. And I didn't like the idea that they would see her first. Uh, Bull and Grizzly. <laughs> have a ton of HP compared to everybody else. And so uh, if anybody is going to get shot, it's going to be one of those guys. All right. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Blast it. I'm sorry, Grizzly. I mean, I basically cursed you there with asking for you to get shot above everybody else. But, uh, you know, this is not the worst thing in the world. Like, you're, you're not... And any you huge danger of death What's up? from uh, from that kind of damage. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll run. We'll run up two spaces. Rap. And then kneel. Okay. And then Standing by. for him, I think we're just going to inch forward one square. Yeah. And Standing by. for him, I think we're going to go this way a little bit. Uh, we're probably in this light square. Let's see. So will actually tell us the brightness is at 36 there compared to like 22 back here. Yeah, we're catching a little bit of that light, but it's not awful uh, by the same 
you can see here uh, brightness is at 22. So he's in a darkened square compared to us. That's probably what's kicking this all off. Should probably get these guys pulled back over a little bit. I'll likely do it later. I uh, don't want to stand and hop into the menu right now, but I know I can turn off. There, there's actually like a keyboard shortcut for it. Uh, I don't remember what that keyboard shortcut is off the top of my head, though. To eliminate the uh, that's only 29. That's 22. Uh, to eliminate the like halo What's around up? our units, I usually like to play with that off because it makes um, figuring out sneaking in the light a lot easier when you can see exactly where the light levels are. Awesome. Standing by. All right, with him down, that's going to give me an opportunity to pull Grizzly over, turn him back, and then kneel again. And then, all right, all three of these are standing by. low light. So that's awesome. You called? That's going to stop that whole them taking pop shots at us before we can see them. You thing got that my ear. Going on. And not a lot of APs left, but we're slowly inching forward, and we've completely thrown dispersion out the window as these guys are now grouped up together. Target. But we haven't any uh, hand grenades come flinging our way yet, so hopefully that luck stays. Um, I'd say the likelihood that he gets close enough and I get another interrupt is pretty thin. I'm just going to pop off some rounds here. Waste of ammunition, but we can always get lucky, and we might do enough here to at least uh, lower his total action points. Uh, a lot of times, the biggest advantage that you're going to get out of uh, an interrupt is that, like, the computer opponent, you know, or a human opponent, I think would probably be doing the same, is going to calculate what it needs to perform an action. So, like, it's here. It knows that it could sprint to here and then take a shot at you and, you know, like, exactly have enough AP to do it. And then, of course, when you shoot at him while he's on his way, What's he up? loses a little bit of those action points and then finds himself unable to perform the action he was trying to perform. I'm just going to shoot Standing everybody by. up a little bit. Standing by. And is that... No, that's 29. That's 22. Okay. We'll have to keep these guys side by side for now. And then... You got my ear! Ira up here to do a little bit of bandaging for Grizzly. Uh, nope. We'll just do the bandage. Worry about surgery some other <laughs> time. Another one bites the and dust. And we know we've got this guy running back and forth through here. So... Nope. Guess he hightailed it after he saw us. Hmm. You got my ear. It's a little bit concerning. Okay. Uh, she finished bandaging there. We'll go ahead and have her do the same to Coyote, and we'll just pass that turn as well. And if nobody comes looking for us, we're gonna have to start looking for them. Uh, this isn't bad. Like, we could advance up to this line you got my ear. as uh, still a fairly darkened area Standing of the by. map, and I wouldn't feel too bad. Go ahead and sprint to it. Okay. But this is really Standing about by. as far as we want to go because we know that the light any further along is kind of bright. Put him here. Neil. What's up? And send him to like this square. And do the same. And then we can send Fox you call? again protecting our right flank. Send her like out to here. And upper face and then Neil. Okay. Again, you got my ear. Ira, you're just going to stay back for the most part so that if we need any doctrine, you are available to do it. <clears throat> Beauty. And now, we've gotten quite a few turns without seeing anybody. Uh, so, it may switch back into 
real time after this? Standing by. Nope, nope. Even if it would have. Standing uh, by. We spotted someone right there. Okay. Say one well aimed shot. Nice. We do Standing that. by. One more time, we could probably drop him. Of course, it's out of range for the 357. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're, I don't think they're really related at all. Uh, the idle sprite animations are just for flavor, but uh, I find it kind of funny that he sort of bit forward, and I swear it made Stand him by. actually avoid that bullet. But oh well, oh well. Uh, man, the fact that Grizzly What's is up? so low on ammo is actually quite concerning uh, if we end up getting into a fight right here. So I'm thinking I'm going to pull Bull to light. Like, here and then standing by the coyote take a couple of steps forward nope maybe not just trying to calculate something which often scares me as uh, there's a possibility that it could be trying to calculate an interrupt chance it's also entirely possible that the game locked up for just a second uh, there's Something in place to where it auto cancels things if they do. So after a few moments, if uh, oh, okay, I tried to move him into a square that I couldn't, and apparently the game didn't handle that too well. That's fine. Uh, okay, we'll do maybe oh, standing by. Do maybe a little bit of movement like this with these guys. Okay. Enemies. All right, and that guy was healthy, so he was not the one that we put a bullet in. Standing by. Standing by. Let's try Coyote here. Oh, oh, the one guy that he can see. What's up? Is the guy on the ground there? Okay. Let's give this shot. Oh, literally, give that a shot. All right, miss there. Waiting any moment for uh, me to find out that the shotgun is empty, which uh, is going to take Bull out of the action for a few turns while he tries to reload. Standing it. by. Okay, Grizzly, I'm I'm getting a little nervous on ammo constraints here. Ugh, that's so far away. It's kind of a junk shot. Yep, yep. I got what I earned. All right. Standing by. Go up to here. We know there's at least two of them, which is also kind of troubling. Um, and I'm hoping we're, we're sort of revealing sight lines from around this building to anybody that might be up this way. That's also plenty scary to me. I could get like one bullet to... <clears throat> yes, okay. All right. The importance of that, you know, cool. once you shoot a guy... He's a lot less effective being an enemy than he is when he's fully by. healthy. Uh, as I'm sure you can imagine, like while the guy's in critical condition, uh, he's getting a lot less AP. He's just generally worse at being a human being. And so uh, that makes our job a little bit easier. All right. With him down, we know we've got one by. more over here. Do a quick body count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dead. One injured. So I think we've got one injured and two unaccounted for at the moment. Damn. Damn. Got an interrupt there. That is nice. Uh, let Bull take this shot. One, because he hasn't been the killing blow very often. And two, Gotta because... Reload. I thought there was a good possibility that that happened. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and reload. That took 16. Was that just one bullet? That was totally just one bullet. Okay. It's going to take him forever. It is a, uh, you know, it's a pump shotgun. So, you got to load, like, each round individually. Um, he's going to be at this for a while. Okay. That took him two turns. I think he still needs to uh, actually pump the action. So we'll go ahead and pass again. What's up? 
We're back into real time. Okay, no, nope, he's ready to fire. So I guess he did uh, Standing by. actually cock it when he was done. All right. Standing now by. we're in real time exploration mode. We're going to have to be a little bit careful. Missing these two ladies circling around the other side of this building. That's what I've been waiting on. Oh, I didn't have to look too far now, did I? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and complete this thought, though. I'm going to push Fox right up to this corner. Her popping around unexpectedly in a turn or two might prove very valuable. So we'll get her up to right about here. And then... What's up? Bull found a healthy soldier to shoot at. Now, this fuck shot. Hmm. It didn't hit. Well, that was an anticlimactic introduction to Buckshot. However, it can be extremely devastating. Hopefully, we get an opportunity to Standing see by. that before we're done here. I'll push him up to here. I'll pass. If nothing else, the fact that Buckshot represents so many bullets flying through the air, it's like if you even come close to somebody... The amount of suppression that you get from a, a single shot is quite high. Thankfully, that missed. And, uh, you know, who could blame him? If I had a shotgun being shot at me, I don't think popping my head up would be something I'd be very interested in. All right. The return fire did catch Bull. Standing by. What's up? But he still has enough to take a shot here. Oh. Oh. Lying still. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Uh, filling him up with the entire Standing cartridge, by. obviously, is enough to get the kill. All right. Going to pass here, mostly to get the AP back and to let Bull cock his shotgun again. And I think. One, Standing two, three, by. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we've only got. What's up? One enemy left in this sector. Standing by. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and push up a few squares here. Crouch. What's up? Have him do something similar. Punch up a few squares here and crouch. Gonna you call? Fox make her way around this corner. I don't expect that she's going to encounter anything though. Okay. Then we'll push her up a little bit to get her back I'm into, into the it. darkness there. Have her kneel. All right, and standing by. Grizzly, we're gonna do pretty much the same. And I'm not even gonna bother crouching him since he's one square back. Uh, they'd be basically unlikely to spot him before they spotted one of the guys in front of them. Standing by. Got lucky. Okay. Probably still close by. I bet. Ugh, Grizzly's down to one bullet. You got my ear. I'm That's, on it. That's uh, not really what I want to see out of him. Okay. Standing by. Let's fan out What's just up? a little bit here. We're gonna you have call? to do some uh, poking around. Will do. To figure out where this last What's guy up? is. Standing now, by. Our, our troops will notify us of things like hearing sounds and things like that. So uh, they'll pop up in the status over here in the lower left. So we'll keep an eye on that. But basically what we end up doing is just sort of having to patrol around in real time carefully. But uh, I don't like you being can't? overly cautious with it What's just up? because I don't have that kind of patience. Standing uh, by. <laughs> it uh, eventually wears on me. You called? The maps are not it. small, and if uh, we What's had up? to, like, slowly creep and Standing clear everything, by. I realize that that's what you'd be doing you in the real ear. world if your life was really at risk, but I've got other things to do. I don't have time to spend, like, hours on every single sector, so uh, we're not going to bother with that. We are instead... Just kind of group I'm up with a little bit of dispersion. And then we are just going to sort of patrol the sector. Nope, that didn't take long. All right, hiding out by the church. He did get a shot on us. He did get a couple of we shots We have some on us. inconveniences to dispose of. 
Oh, he did get three or four shots on us. So that's probably the uh, damage that I could have avoided had I uh, been you got my ear. super careful like. Unfortunately, I was not being super careful like. Standing by. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, is it hitting this guy? I'll just let him return fire from right here. The from the standing might not have been the greatest idea. Come on. Oh. You can do it. Or I can do it, I guess, considering it is my character. And Target there we dispatched. Go. We've eliminated all of Deidreana's men in this area. All right, and a prompt that we're seeing for the first time is we did not get injured in our first fight. Um, after the fight's over, there's just a convenient way to apply first aid to everybody. You can just click yes here. You'll see everybody with medical training, everybody with unbandaged wounds, and then uh, they'll just run through it. Once it's done, you click done. Yay. Uh, the, uh, let's see if I remember this shortcut key. There we go, all back. Backpacks have been picked up. Um, so basically that little bit of health loss saved us, I don't know, the 20 minutes we would have spent wandering around. Uh, since that combat is uh, gonna take up most of our now, time Now this is here. an oddity. Drassen actually has a church here. Why the queen lets it continue is anybody's guess, but I'd bet my bottom dollar that something's up. Father Walker says she fears crossing the Pope. All right. She fears crossing the Pope. Fair enough. Uh, I don't want to cross the Pope. Seems like a nice enough guy. So uh, the uh, combat took up most of our time here, and uh, we've got quite a few characters that we're going to want to interact with in this sector. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here with just the combat. Uh, next episode, we'll try to do sort of a tick-tock sort of rhythm here where um, we'll do like an action-packed episode filled uh, or followed rather by something where we just get to talk to people and advance the RPG stuff a little bit. Uh, this is going to be one of our more action-packed things. And then uh, next episode, we'll uh, look for Father Walker and uh, see what there is to see in the Drassen Mine. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to subscribe for more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.